Hello, I'm Luke Hatfield. I'm joined here by Tim Spears, our Wolves correspondent here at the Express and Star. Tim, how are you today? Very well, I think. Yep, yeah, you're right. Not too bad, not too bad. Good. One man who's going to be happy is uh, Michael Zyro. I mean, he, he didn't get too much, too much time at Wolves, didn't get too much time on the pitch, uh, and he's finally found somewhere where he can get back on the turf. Yes, Charlton Athletic mm. at the Valley in League One. So yeah, no, good, a good move, a surprising move. I think I think Wolves were hoping to get him out to, to a higher level. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, you look at two years ago when he when Wolf signed him, Polish international from Legia Warsaw, came with a big reputation, yep. and now he's in League One. It's a fall from grace in that respect, but also, is there anywhere else he could go, really, with mm. the injury problems that he's had? I think that Wolves would would like to have sold him. He doesn't seem to be any part of Nuno's plans going forward, but who's going to take a risk mm -hmm. on spending money on a player who's played two matches since April 2016? Nobody, really. So, yeah, a loan move is the best move for him. Go and prove himself, play regular football. I'm sure he'll be playing week in, week out, whether it's from the start or on the bench. That's mm -hmm. exactly what he needs. If he can prove his fitness, and if he can if he can get back to the fitness level he was at before his horrendous injury, then Charlton have got some play on their hands. Mm. Like I was, you know, really impressed with, with from what we saw, albeit from two or three months from Zyro before that horrendous injury. Uh, he's got a fantastic attitude. I think he's done very well to come back in the in the time that he has from what was a very complicated injury. Yeah, and f yeah, fantastic attitude. Very likable lad. He's still only twenty five, mm -hmm. and if he goes there and has a, a stellar second half to the season, which will be a big ask, considering as as what he's been through, then um, then it'll put me in great stead in the summer when he's finding another club, which I presume is what is what will happen to him. Yeah, probably. But there are a number of players now at Wolves where they're kind of almost in this forgotten bunch. I mean, the players which Nuno has brought in have done very very well I mean can can these players who have almost been forgotten at Wolves by Nuno uh, can they come back and you know somehow work their way back into the squad? Yeah there are quite there are quite a number of forgotten men I mean Lee Evans was one and, and he and he left last week and mm -hmm. Dominic Iorfa you know online at Ipswich who Wolves play this weekend of course Iorfa won't, won't feature because he'll be ineligible yep. but yeah you kind of wonder you know what's going to happen to these guys when Wolves are most likely going to be in the Premier League this summer mm -hmm. as, as everybody hopes if they are you don't see where the likes of Iorfa are going to get in I mean Wolves did have the option of recalling him this month but they went for Jordan Graham instead yep. um, I know Iorfa hasn't really been pulling up any trees at Ipswich but <sighs> Wolves fans will know just how good this guy can be mm -hmm. so you really want to see him kick on in the second half of the season and you know, his confidence has taken a bit of a battering in, in the past couple of years and he's not, not fulfilling that potential and Courtney yeah. Horse has overtaken him really in the States so they came to the team at the same time so we'll see what happens to him I, I, it's difficult to see a future for him at Wolves and the same the same really for a number of them I mean Ethan Ebanks Landales mm -hmm. uh, in League One at the moment MK Dons Paul Gladon <laughs> remember him remember him remember him Paul Gladon uh, again I don't think we'll be seeing him again <laughs> Dukins Nazon He's um, he's a funny case because he was doing really well at Coventry. I think he got about 18-24, but the yeah. fans there are really impressed with him. Coventry doing well in League Two, so Wolves have brought him back now, hoping to get mm -hmm. him out to a higher level. I mean, if they were to do that, if they were to get him out to League One, and and he's he, you know he's got fantastic uh, ability mm -hmm. and great technique and can score special goals. You know, if if he can manage to do that in League One, you know, you, you never know. Wolves aren't Wolves aren't blessed with a lot of strikers. So bizarrely, he, he, may be, he may be the one that may have, may have some kind of chance of getting back in at Wolves at some point in the future. And a couple more, Prince Onyega is just going out to Angers in France yeah. again. I don't, you know, Nuno's just not taking a like to him at all. Don't think we'll see him again. And Joe Mason back from Burton, but mm -hmm. back really because of his problems with appendicitis, not because Wolves are really having a look at him. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't gone to Marbella. So I would envisage that if he can uh, get fit again, like I said, he's been out with appendicitis, uh, struggling with that. If he can get back fit again, mm -hmm. they'll get him out. But yeah, uh, that list of players, Zyro, I offer, Ebanks Landell, Gladon, Nazon, Onyege and Mason, <sighs> probably not going to see any of them in a Wolves shirt again. I mean, it seems just the way that Wolves are going, Wolves, Wolves are rocketing up the table, they're on the way to the Premier League and big things and they can spend money on any player in the world. Yes, <laughs> they can. And one player you did touch on briefly, Jordan Graham. I mean, a lot of people excited about him when he came back from injury. Yeah. He went out on loan, didn't exactly, you know, pull up trees like you said no, at no, Fulham no, but no. Wolves have brought him back what, what's what's the deal with him could he maybe find his way into the reckoning or no 
He's gone to Marbella and he's next in. If Matt Doherty gets injured this week, he's next in mm. line to, to play, I, I'd imagine. Um, although they've got Ryan Bennett as option at right wing back. We've seen a couple of times this season as well. Obviously a very defensive right wing back, but a right wing back nonetheless. So, Jordan Graham, I don't know. I think it's up to... I think I think a lot of it will depend on how he's been on the training mm. ground. You know, um, managers in the past have, str- have struggled to get the best out of Jordan. You know, there's there's, there's certainly been question marks raised uh, uh, about his attitude by a cu- couple of previous managers. If he can just get his head down and let his football do the talking, the guy has talent. Um, but he's 22 now. He's got a kick on, right? Mm. He's only played. He's only started 19 games. Mm-hmm. In his senior career, and he's 22. He's, that's got to stop now. It's got to stop, whether it's at Wolves or another club. Mm-hmm. And best to look to him. You know, John's a, so enthusiastic, a likable lad, and he's got so much talent. And if he can adapt to this right wing back position, which I know will be difficult for him because he's naturally a winger, but if he can, if he can do that, um, and like I said, it just takes one injury, mm-hmm. and, 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 so, and suddenly, and suddenly he's, he's potentially in the first team. You know, under Matt Doherty. Mm-hmm. Nuno's not taking a lot to Ben Marshall, he's off this month. So there's a potential window there for Jordan Graham. And we'll see how much game time he gets in the, in the next few weeks. Morgan Gibbs White's come from nowhere and mm-hmm. is now doing very well in the first team and done well in the past few weeks, so it can happen. Yeah, Graham, a talented lad. Does, 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 does a good job on the piano, too, by the looks of it. He's good at tinkling the old ivories. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Well, for all the latest on him and all of the other men at Wolves, make sure you stick with us at expressingstar.com.